I'm Roland Kahn. In this mini video I'm talking about my vision of a Quaker Centre at Jesus Lane to see the discussion of where we are going. The idea and the statement that we end up with will certainly be different, perhaps very different. Quaker Care Hub at Jesus Lane Quaker is our identity and our mission. We are a Christian sect and part of our mission is to reach out and make our world a better place, mitigating the evils that we see today. Care is what love requires of us, caring for those who don't care for us as well as those who do. A hub has spokes leading inward and outward. It's the centre of a wheel that engages with its world and moves forward. Jesus Lane is where we are now in time and space, with all its opportunities and limitations. An alternative to violence. This is about our peace testimony. Many Quakers see peace as the core of our witness. War and violence are destructive, and conflict is built into our biology. We are addicted to drama. Human nature calls for an alternative to a lifestyle of relationships built on battle. A vibrant, living community is that alternative. Violence here stands for the evils of destruction, abuse, denigration, distraction, bullying, interference, arrogance, ignorance, anarchy, uncaring, uncompassionate treatment of other people. Passions, emotions, tensions and conflict are not in themselves evil, but rather spurs to action and change. A mentoring community involves two core testimonies, community and equality. We are a community within the local community of Cambridge. We are engaged with our social environment. We are not closed, reclusive, cloistered, withdrawn. A community is a social enterprise in which each person has a value equal to that of the others, in which the community exists and works to meet the needs of each and every person in it, which has mechanisms, methods and tools in systems that service the members' needs. A live community is dynamic and vibrant. It has passions and pain, effort and frustration, fear and sanctuary, joy and encouragement, hunger and satisfaction, failure and achievement, friends and difficult people, gossip and politics. By example, education, teaching and training, both the inner Quaker community and outer secular community are mentored, grown and sustained. Sustained enterprise is about stewardship. Sustained enterprise is a viable, balanced, social and physical system that exists for generations. It includes wise use of resources, people, money, materials, social capital. A balanced set of flows with our environment, including money and information. A coherent, effective system for our governance. Welding different contributions into a whole, and a long-term view for future generations as well as our own. A Centre of Wisdom and Light A Centre of Wisdom and Light is about our testimony to integrity. Wisdom comes from choices made in discerned worship. It's more than knowledge or experience, although it rests on them. The centre makes things happen by choosing and acting in the light of our understanding of nature and of God's truth, and helping others to do the same. Discernment of God's truth comes from being open to the light of science, nature, the views of others, interpreting the patterns of the universe, and from our own experience. Quaker experience, expressed in our business method, is that discernment, practised individually, is honed and tested in our meetings for worship. Our testimony on simplicity was originally testimony to equality, expressed in the common simplicity of dress for all, eschewing the superfluities of extravagance, denoting the rich or aristocratic. It has evolved into the notion of a simple, even ascetic lifestyle. Others have suggested a simplicity of naming, or expression. I suggest a simplicity of clear, coherent thought and practice, expressing beliefs and experience. A Quaker Care Hub at Jesus Lane. An alternative to violence. A mentoring community. A sustainable enterprise. Centre of wisdom and light. I chose 13 words very carefully. It needs 10 slides and 564 words to unpick the 13 hard, inspiration-loaded words. 
and more than a thousand words for a coherent description, but that will come much later. My aim was to produce a seed for discussion. I was concerned that the final vision be inspirational enough for local meetings buy-in and a cause for fundraising, while presenting something practical and realistic enough to be capable of being built and operated in the real world. I was also conscious of needing to transcend but include individual interests, passions, concerns and issues of today, while still being relevant and inspirational in two generations' time. I'm not precious about this, although I've done the best I can. I'm not satisfied that it's the ultimate statement of an eternal vision. In the end it will be first premises and then local meetings vision, not mine. As we make changes, I hope we'll be careful to enhance the vision, enhance its inspirational value and make it more practical. I feel it will be a mistake to erode it, dumb it down, use Quaker language or make it too specific for today.